Okay, so the amount of money accrued at the end of n years when a certain amount P is invested into a company in R is given by this. So here's your formula. If a person invests that much money, this right here, that's your P. So I know it's 270 goes in there. 1 plus R stands for rate, so that needs to go in there, and since it's 10%, you plug in 0.1 over compounded annually. Annually means that's how many times a year. That's your N. So annually goes in for N. So that's 1. 1 up in the air because that's an N. So that's 1 times. And after 15 years, uh, that is your T. So when we plug this in, we get 270 times. And 1 plus 0.1 is 1.1. .1 and 1 times 15 is 15, so really you need to plug that in in your calculator. So what that means is it's 270 times parentheses 1.1 to the 15th power and we end up getting, when you plug that all in, you end up getting 1, 1, 2, 7.86. So you plugged in 270 bucks and you made that much by the time it was all said and done, but keep in mind that was 15 years of you doing it. Find the value of a thousand dollars deposit for 10 years in uh, seven percent annual interest compounded yearly. Well, you got to remember the formula that was on the last page. A equals P times one plus R over N times the NT power. Well, they're saying you deposit a thousand dollars. One plus R is your rate, which is seven percent, which we'd write as point zero seven. Um, N is the number of times it's compounded yearly, so that's just a one to the one times, and they want to know after ten years. So really, this is a thousand. One point zero seven to the 10. So let's figure out what that is. 1,000 times parentheses 1.07 to the 10th power and we end up getting 1967.15 is our answer. Find the value of 1,000 after 8 years if its interest is semi-annually. Okay, semi-annually. Alright. Um, let's see if there's any other different ones because they all seem to be the same. Here we go. Let's go with this one. All right. Um, deposit now. Um, same formula. A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. Okay. You're depositing $1,000. Okay. How much money must be deposited? Oh, nope. Sorry. Read the problem wrong. This is a good one. Okay, this is a good one. It says how much money must be deposited now in an account paying 8%. So um, compound accord have a balance of 1,000 after 10 years. So the balance is going to be 1,000. That's going to be 1,000. I don't know what P is. I know what 1 is because it's just a 1. R is the rate, so it's 0 0.08. Compounded quarterly means four times a year to the fourth times um, 10 years. Okay, so um, I add that together. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4. That's 1.02. So really I have 1,000 equals P times 1.02 to the 40th power because 4 times 10 is 40. Well, 1.02 to the 40th power is a huge decimal. So really I get 1,000 equals P times 2.208, um, and I'll stop right there. To get P by itself, it's P times that, so I need to divide both sides by the 2.208 on both sides. 2.208. So 1,000 divided by 2.208 
and we end up getting $452.89 is how much was put in because we're working that problem backwards to figure out how much money was deposited. Um, let's see how many more we have here. Okay, a company had a total sales of 32, uh, 3 million and 3 million 200 thousand 1985 each year between 1985 and 1991 the sales increased by 12 percent approximate the sales for 1991 to the nearest uh, hundred thousand dollars so they're saying that each year it increased by 12 percent okay so we know what it's going up by each year so when we go to do this um, the company total sales it was that so that's when it started Ninety-one to the nearest. Okay, so this is how much they're investing. So according to our formula, A equals P. This isn't showing up very well. One plus R over N to the N T. Right. So I'm putting this in. Um, one plus it's point twelve. Calculates once a year. Okay and n is 1 but how many years they want to know what it is in 91 so that's 6 years later so it's 3 2 0 0 0 0 0 and that is 1.12 that's a 2 to the 6th power so 3 2 0 0 0 0 0 times 1.12 to the 6th power equals you end up getting six three one six two three two point six so to the nearest hundred thousand so to the nearest hundred thousand would be six million three hundred thousand would be your answer so mainly this is just graphing and using your compound interest formula so if you had any questions or concerns please feel free to email me and let me know